Ah, hi. Okay, this is rather embarrassing because I do have a mic, but it's it's somewhere and I can't go for for it right now. And yeah, uh, this is going to be very out of what I usually upload. Upload. And I don't have the intention of you know uh, editing the audio and all this stuff. I just want to make this real quick because. I feel like it will give some life to my video, I don't know, and since I'm doing this, why don't we talk about cringe culture? You know, that thing that basically we all know at this point, that it's basically, you know, uh, shaming people for things that we define as stupid or dumb. but. I have been thinking, and I actually haven't had this idea for a while, but it's more in depth to, for, to say it in some way. We all have liked something that it's cringe at some point. We'll have liked it something to an extreme point that we have defined it as something cringe, something that people just don't agree with and all that stuff. Nowadays, it's more toned down, but even then, I also feel it's still there, it's still strong. Like, for example, let's say with Pangirls. I'm not sure how it's to stop with that anymore, but I remember back then, people used to be very, very against Pangirls because Oh, they like a fictional ch character, like Sans as an example, but let's be honest, we all have liked a fictional character at some point, and it, there is nothing wrong with it at the end of the day. We all can agree on that, and I'm sure we all can agree on that. We all have liked something done, something that we look back on, and we define as something stupid or embarrassing to nowadays. People are always changing, changing, it's not always the same, like, now it's happening a lot with horror games, I was watching earlier a video of someone ranting about how video games now are more kid friendly, to say it, to say it in some way, and it was more like, yeah, he had a point. The last part of the video that he had was about how we all have been always drowned in some way, like we all have been curious, curious about some stuff with time, stuff that maybe we don't really pay too much attention when we are as kids. Like, I'm not explaining myself, well, I'm so sorry, like, we all have, like, this one thing, this one little thing that was so weird to us that we just wanted to know more and more and more, and we just couldn't stop trying to research more about it, and we really didn't, and it became popular thanks to little kids being curious of it. We all have like things that nowadays are very dumb to say the least. Like with creepypastas. Everyone used to be all into creepypastas, I remember that. Uh, <laughs> I used to be a, a Jeff Killer fan girl actually. One of my, I actually connected with one of my best friends through that because we both used to like that used to like Jeff Taylor. It was so long, but at the same time it brings us so much joy. And I look back and there are these videos about his story that I'm more like, how was I afraid of this? And it's very interesting, honestly, because as kids, even though we may be scared, we still want to know what's going on. Kids from very young ages are already drowning 
Morpheus, I don't know if that's the word, the word. Scary things to say the least, things that aren't something childish, because many adults really don't think kids will think stuff like that, but they will, they like it or not, they will, especially when they are more and more close to their tween years, but it's okay, it's something that happens, um, yeah, what I want to come with this is that cringe culture should really, just really disappear for once, I'm not sure if there is times where it's bad or if it's necessary but I don't think it, it's very necessary because at the end of the day if it doesn't affect you and if the person isn't getting actually harmed from like it that one thing why are we really paying attention to it why are we really we are just having a good time like we used to have a good time when we were kids why take away that from the kids hmm? and that will be all honestly this was a very weird, weird video wasn't it I really didn't, I really tried to not have that many mistakes while recording this because I'm really lazy to good little things that I don't like right now plus I haven't slept yet and I still feel, feel self-conscious about my own voice so yeah but with time maybe I might bring more videos like this Maybe I might make story times, they have a few actual ideas of what to make with that, Animati animated ones. And yes, I am using my voice, something that I barely do, because I want to get more confident at my English speaking levels. And yeah, that will be all. Maybe I should speak about the drawing a bit. It's very simple, it's mostly just... First of all, I was practicing a bit here, because I barely put so much detail as much as I did in this one, and I just really enjoy drawing myself in this type of things. I did already the bye-bye, but oh, fuck it. <laughs> but yeah, I really just, yeah, no. Enjoy drawing myself like that. I plan on drawing, um, actually dressing up like that one day on in, in the future. Right now, it's a bit difficult because of life and stuff. And um, so, yeah, I actually wear glasses. First of all, I wear glasses. I am lazy to draw them. That's something to keep in mind. And um, yeah, that will be all. Thank you all so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!